Okay, here we have some fraction calculations. Not really sure what level this is actually, but I've put it as grade C just because it's positioned on the exam paper, which is right in the middle. Um, maybe even a grade B, but um, I teach this quite low down in schools, but uh, most people find it a bit tricky to remember the rules. So when we're dividing by a fraction, that's the same as multiplying by that fraction upside down. That's because, that's because of the reciprocal rules. So if we divide by 5, five 6, that's the same as multiplying by 6 over 5. It's only this last bit that gets turned upside down. This bit stays the same. So we, then we multiply the tops and the bottoms. The easy bit is to, in fractions is multiplying multiply fractions. So we get 2 6 to 12 and 3 fives are 15. And then we're asked to give it in the simplest form. So we divide the top and bottom by numbers that go into both. So 2 doesn't go into both, so 3 will give us 4 and 5. So um, 4 fifths for 3 marks. You would certainly get one mark for getting to the 12 fifteenths, and you would get one mark if you got to this point where you'd written this with a multiplying 6 over 5. So three marks there for a fraction calculation. Um, work out this subtraction. Um, quite often I would suggest when you're trying to do questions with mixed numbers, you've got whole numbers and fractions, is to take the mixed number into the fraction, I mean the whole number into the fraction. Um, I would do that with pretty much everything apart from adding. Adding is not, not too tricky because you would just add the one and the two separately and then you could add the fraction separately and then combine them. Um, with subtraction, especially if two-fifths is bigger than one-third, um, which it is slightly, it's going to be a little bit messy if you do it that way. So I would say change this into a top heavy fraction. So how many thirds are there in two? Well there's three thirds in one, so there's six in two plus this one makes seven. So two and one third is the same as seven thirds and one and two fifths, well there's five fifths in one plus the two on the top is seven fifths. And then when we're adding and subtracting we try to make them out of a common denominator. Um, usually quite often that's just that these two multiplied by each other which it is in this case. So 3 times 5 is 15, so they both go into 15, and then how many times does 3 go into 15? Well, it goes in 5 times, so I'm actually times in the 5 by the 7 to get 35. How many times does 5 go into 15? Well, that's 3, so we've got 3 times 7, which is 21, and then we're subtracting those two. So we've got 35, take away 21 fifteenths, so we've got 35 minus 21 over 15, 35 take away 21 is just 14 and 15 and there's your answer 14 fifteenths. It's worth three marks. Um, you would get um, some marks for finding the common denominator of 15. You could, um, if you change the third into uh, 5 fifteenths or the two fifths into 6 fifteenths or you've got this 35 or this 21, that's definitely worth a method mark. And um, seeing this calculation or the one without the whole numbers just the fraction calculation would get you the second mark and one for the answer unusual to see fraction questions purely like this on an exam paper higher paper but um, you do need to know how to do these so it's worth practicing them